Well, in this video, we have the offensive coordinator, Sean Lewis, giving his feedback over the spring camp, and he also spoke about the spring game. Great opportunity for me to get a chance to see what's in his head, how he's feeling about the players' progress and all of those things. What's good, YouTube? Mag Dog TV back with another video. If you're new here, stop by for the first time. Hit the like, subscribe button, comment. I really appreciate it. Also, hit the notification bell. They will never upload a video. You guys will be aware. Well, you're pretty much done with spring ball at this point. One more thing. Like, you ready to put on a show offensively? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're ready to go. You know, we're going to have a vanilla vanilla call sheet, and, and we're going to go play fast and allow the opportunity for the guys to, to go make plays, you know. So excited to see the guys compete and, you know, see all the hard work that they've put in this spring really come to fruition in front of our fans and obviously a great national television audience. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Do you almost throw in things that you're definitely not planning to do just to maybe throw people that are trying to game plan against you? I, you know, I mean, so much information is out there, and I've been calling this thing for so long. I mean, I, I think the people that we're going to see, they know what they're going to see from us. There will obviously be wrinkles as we get to the fall, and there will be some things to make it fun for the fans and everything like that, you know. So it will have all that spring game flair and all that spring game flavor, that's for sure. Spring games are, I mean, they're typically vanilla as far as play calling everything, but when there's going to be 45,000 people here, it's on ESPN, do you feel kind of about pressure, but do you feel like let's throw some fun wrinkles in there and, and give them a – Give them a few plays. You know, so much is being made, and, and rightfully so. Right? It's a sold-out crowd. We're playing in front of a national audience. It's a great stage for our kids to showcase who they are. But, you know, to me, it's a privilege and it's an opportunity for our guys to showcase the hard work that they've done. And, you know, one of our big mantras that we've constantly been talking about is that you treat practice like a game. So if guys approach tomorrow any differently than how they've been going to approach it or, or about it, then they haven't been approaching practice the right way, right? Because if the game comes and the opportunity comes and all of a sudden I'm someone different because it's game day, well, then you're not going to be trained and ready for the moment and ready for the opportunity, right? So, you know, I'm looking forward to see the guys to, to come out and when the lights come on, that they should be the same individuals that we've been doing the work with for the past 14 practices, right? Because as a play caller, I'm looking for the guys who are consistently good, not occasionally great. Like, those are the guys that you're going to call plays for. Those are the guys that you're going to build a game plan around, you know? So if Hey, I need 45,000 people in the stands and I need a national audience to get me to go, well then, uh, you know, that, you're not one of my guys in all honesty, right? Like, I want guys that are self-driven that, you know, there's no one in the stands and we're putting in real work together. That's where real confidence is going to be, be made, right? And, and real trust is going to be earned so we can go do that work together. You can clearly tell this interview was taken before the spring game. Colorado uploaded this on yesterday, but it's still a great content. It's a great way for us to still see how Coach Lewis feels when we talk about this football team. He's absolutely correct. You don't want guys just to turn it on just because it's 45, 50,000 fans. But truth be told, some guys just perform better in this setting than they do in practice. I don't know why it's like this, but it's just how it is. It's always been like this. It was like this when I was playing as well. But I can also understand what Coach Sean Lewis is saying. He wants guys that's going to come in, come to work every single day. Yeah, I mean, quite a few, right? I mean, the, the attitude, the effort, the energy, um, you know, the, the players have done a really good job buying into the, the system and our style of play. And, and I'm really pleased with the effort and the energy and the way that the guys have fought through, you know, the, the transition of the styles of play and the way that they're going about it. So, yeah, a, a lot of things to be happy about as we move forward. What was different about implementing the offense here for the first time as opposed to when you first got to Kent State? Um... I mean, not not a ton, right? I mean, like guys think they're going to play fast, or they think they know what playing fast is, and then you got to truly educate them on what it is and what it takes, you know, to do that. Um, getting to know these unique players makes it uniquely different, like we, we kind of talked about before, right? In terms of what are the strengths of the certain players, what are the weaknesses of certain players, and how do we put them in the best position to be successful? So learning that and the uniqueness of the skill set of each one of these players has made this install unique. But in terms of teaching kids how to play fast and and what our scheme and what our system is. It's been pretty similar to all the other spots. It's been pretty eye-opening for everyone involved. That like, holy cow, we're going that fast. And I'm walking on the field going, man, we're playing really slow. That felt like paint was drying, and we need to crank it up a little bit as we go. Yeah, I mean, again, they're having a better understanding of what we're doing and how Coach OB wants it done. And now they get to play with bigger eyes so that they can see everything that's happening so they can play with greater anticipation. You know, so a lot of work still needs to be done in the weight room and, and in our training areas, training and conditioning, and, you know, the understanding of the nuances of the scheme so that we can get it to the level that we know it needs to be before we get to the fall. 
uh, I mean, from the start from the finish, right? I mean, it's those controllables, you know, the, the things that we can't control, our alignments, our assignments, our focus, our finish, our intensity, that needs to be consistent throughout. And, you know, so I'm looking for, again, with a pared down call sheet and a pretty vanilla plan, the number of mental errors should go way, way down, right? That we know our assignments, we know our alignments, and we're able to go execute some clean ball plays. Is this offense almost, is it exactly what you ran at camp, or is there some stuff incorporated from uh, some of the other guys on the staff? Yeah, I mean, it, it's completely different from everywhere that I've been, right? And again, that, that comes from the ideas that are within the staff room, and it comes from the skill set of the players. And so every year that, you know, I've called it and we've shaped it, I've been with other coaches, I've been with other players. And again, same thing's happening here at Colorado, right? So it's going to have its own unique nuances. The only thing that's going to be consistent from, you know, the ones in the past is that we're going to go really fast, right? I, I kind of equate it to, you know, again, you know, race cars, right? Ferraris, as they roll off the line, there's different makes and models, but you know, each one of those, those cars are going to roll. Right, and that's what each version of this offense is going to be. Has it been a fun process for you to like uh, work with some different coaches you've never worked with? And Heck yeah, different ideas yeah, and absolutely. Right. Anytime you get a bunch of incredibly smart people together, it doesn't matter the industry or the field. You put smart people in a room that know their crafts and are professionals. Like a lot of great stuff comes out of that. So it's been a lot of fun. When we talk about the offensive coordinator Sean Lewis' fast-paced offense, attention to details is just as important as it is talent. Talent would only take you so far in this offense, but it's very important for these guys to understand why, when, and where they need to be with this offense, which can be very effective if everybody on the same page. I saw Travis Hunter going back and forth between offense and defense at practice the other day. Have you and Coach Kelly kind of been going at it, arguing who deserves it more <laughs> at this point? Or? I know that I don't deserve a darn thing, in all honesty, right? So, you know, whatever great players that we, I'm fortunate to coach and that coach allows me to coach, right, I'm going to earn the right to continue to coach him. And wherever Travis can help us on all three phases of the game, he's a, he's a dynamic playmaker and he's going to be able to do that for us. Travis, Jimmy Horn, and Lewis Pastorella got their number. Were there any other guys on offense that were kind of trending in yeah, Caleb Mathis got his number as well. Um, you know, so again, it, it, it's a each position coach is handling that in a way that they want to accentuate and emphasize certain things within their rooms, right? And so those guys are embodying those things within their rooms, and, and they earn those numbers. And you know, it's a great honor for those guys. It's critical, right? I mean, every day that we get is critically important, and we can't waste the time that we have um, to grow and get better, right? We were talking to quarterbacks the other day that as they go into the summertime and, you know, they're allowed to do the work together as players, and, you know, we as coaches can't be around them. There's got to be an expert in the techniques and the fundamentals. There's got to be an expert within the room with a concept so that while they're out there, they can coach one another so that things are being done to the standard that they know that is appropriate and right. But every single moment that we get, every single day that we get is critically important for the growth and the development because we're on the right path, but we got a long ways to go. Yeah, yes, sir. Right. I mean, we, we got guys that are doing a great job laying a foundation of how we're going to play and the roles that they're going to have. But then there's going to be an influx of, you know, talent acquisition and different guys are going to come in, whether it be high school kids that we already signed or guys out of the portal and things like that. As we continue to manage the roster the right way, we've got to get guys up to speed and we got to utilize that time in the summertime, you know, in the, in the right way. Do you, have any, do you have any old football friends coming to the game? I got my pops here and that's pretty cool. You know, anytime I get my dad around and, and we get to share this moment, um, you know, that, that, that's going to be really fun. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Again, I, I mean, that goes back to uh, there's a smart guy who's a professional that's got years of experience that's done it at the highest level that if, you, if you're willing to take some of that wisdom and apply it, I think you're going to be OK. I think we're evaluating every single position to where we can, you know, add value across the board, you know, so we're going to look at everything that's available that's out there. Yep. Cool. Thanks, guys. So my final thoughts is a very good interview. There's more guys rolling in in the summer. A lot of guys hit the transfer portal, so it's going to be very crucial for Coach Prime to replace those guys as well. You also heard what Coach Lewis was talking about, the limited amount of time these coaches will have with the players in the summer. That's why it's very important for these players to have leaders on the football field to keep this momentum that they have gained from the spring heading to the summer and then the fall as well. Of course, guys like Carmani McClain and the rest of those boys are on the way. But if you guys like the video, definitely like subscribe to the channel.